Hello, my name is John Perry, Technical Project Manager with IPC, here with this week's IPC Technical Question of the Week. Uh, the question we're going to be answering this week is, what standards do, does IPC have that address VIA protection? And we're actually going to answer that in two parts. The first part is what IPC currently has in terms of published documents, and secondly, what IPC will have in the future in future standards revisions. So the, the first part of the answer is what IPC currently has, and that is IPC 4761. This is our design guide for the protection of printed board VIA structures. What I'm going to show today are the uh, seven identified types or categories of VIA protection that this document addresses. The first is a very simple, it's a tented VIA, it's simply a, a coating, uh, typically some type of dry film solder mask, either on one side or on both sides. Uh, so this is known as a type 1 uh, VIA protection. A type 2 is very similar. It has a, a tent on either one side or two, or two sides. However, there's also a secondary coating over this initial tent. And this is usually a, a uh, liquid solder mask uh, covering over the tenting. So this is a type 2 uh, protected VIA. The type 3 is using a, a actual plug. This is a partial plug or a partial penetration into the hole. Either, again, either from one side or from both sides. A type 4 protected VIA, again, is a partial plugging followed by a secondary covering, again, typically a uh, liquid solder mask covering. Going a step further, the type 5 is a fully filled VIA uh, with uh, some type of either conductive or non-conductive uh, fill material. A type 6, again, is a, is a fully plugged VIA but this time with a covering, typically a dry film cover. And the type 6 is very similar to that, except instead of having a, a cover of dry film, it's typically a, a liquid film cover, film cover. And finally, type 7, the filled in cap. This is where we have a, a full plug of the material in the hole, followed by a metallic cap plating on either side of the hole, and typically this is a, a copper cap plating. So what IPC 4761 provides is a analysis of all these seven types of VIA protection. The document is not intended to be a design requirement standard, nor is it intended to be a, a performance or qualification document. The goal of the document is to provide benefits and concerns with each type of VIA protection and then allow the user to decide which of those VIA protections is best for that, their type of end use application. I'll give you an example of, of what I mean by that. Uh, if you take a look here, we'll go back to the type 2 uh, tented and covered. Uh, in the document, one of the concerns that we list for this type of structure where you have a tent and cover on both sides is the fact that uh, you may have some expansion of this entrapped air or any entrapped chemistries that occurs at the assembly process, and that thermal process may actually create uh, an expansion of the air such that we actually get a blowout or popping uh, of the via protection on one side. Uh, that being the case, one would think the solution is just to do single-sided protection. However, in the document, we list how many people in the industry consider to be of even greater concern than the potential blowout here is that with single-sided you may have entrapment of processing chemistries, either a printed board fabrication or printed board assembly. They may actually attack and corrode the, the copper hole or the copper plating and in the barrel of the hole wall. So really the document is intended to address all types of via protection, give pros and cons, and then uh, identify give information for the user that they, in turn, can use to select a, uh, a type that's good for their application. Secondly, that I want to talk about is what IPC is going to provide in the future. In 2010, we're looking to revise both the IPC 2221 design standard as well as the IPC 6012 performance document. In the design standard, our intention is to provide requirements for via protection. We want to provide requirements for the minimum and maximum aspect ratios based on performance class as well as the type of via protection used. And in the corresponding IPC 6012 performance document, 
we want to provide as an example if we go all the way over here to the type 7 which is a fill and a cap the IPC 6012 Rev C that will come out in 2010 will give requirements for the uh, thickness of the copper cap plating it will also give requirements for the uh, protrusion or bump of the cap plating resulting from the fill as well as uh, a maximum allowance for the uh, recession or dimple that may, re uh, may result from a, a copper cap over a, a filled hole. So in 2010, we'll, IPC will expand on what was established in 4761 by providing actual design requirements and more performance criteria for via protection. Thank you.